All right, guys, just wanted to do a video here and talk a little bit about what is working and what is not working and platforms that are working, what's going on with them, some quick updates, thoughts, that sort of thing. Um, again, do want to remind you guys that anything I talk about on my channel, any platform or just anything you do in the crypto space, expect it to be high risk, guys. Um, do your due diligence, do your own research. And uh, if you can stomach the risk, and you have the temperament for high risk things, then and only then should you get in and only put in risk capital, guys. Okay, so that being said, jump into our Telegram. I will leave a link for that down below. Of course, subscribe. You guys know that already. Um, let's just jump right into it, guys. As you can see here, the market is red, going through a major, major correction just over the last 24 hours. Bitcoin down 9%, Ethereum down 10%. Um, Polka dot down almost 10%. Uh, Cardano, Chainlink, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. I mean, all these are down almost 10% over the last 24 hours. And uh, if you look at TRX, TRX is down 6.8%. So it's kind of fluctuate, fluctuating around 6.87% down over the last 24 hours. So, I mean, it is what it is. These are necessary corrections that happen in the market. Not really worried about it because I'm not selling. I am buying. Um, but at this point, I'm not really selling, so I'm not really concerned about it. But yeah, 9% down the entire crypto market down over the last day. It might be a buying opportunity. I don't know. Obviously, do what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your funds. Um, I am buying because, um, again, I think overall the market is going to go up. That's just, I mean, why would I be in this space if I didn't think the market was going to go up, right? So that being said, let's jump right into it. I just did an update, guys, so I'm not going to go into, again, um, Eclipse City Global. Go check out the video right before this one that um, that gives you an update on Eclipse City Global and also EFT farming. You swap what I'm doing with that, but as you can see here, the um, the contract is pretty healthy. It's growing, going in an upwards direction. Of course, the USD value of the contract fund will ride the you know the the downs, the ups and downs of the market. So that's to be expected. But over 1.1 billion TRX already deposited overall. It's only been out for about two weeks, two weeks and like two days, something like that. So again, still a, a good time, uh, at least in my opinion. Of course, who knows? I don't have a crystal ball, but still a good time to get in. It's super duper early um, with Eclipse City Global, EFT, holding steady at around $550. We are farming this. Um, UME is down a little bit as well. But again, if you're farming it, um, you know, technically you're, 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 you're in profit, you're farming it and you're in profit. Of course, if you're buying it and you're looking to trade, buy, sell on a daily basis or an hourly basis, then you're probably a little bit more concerned about the price. Of course, do what you want to do. Um, I'm not trading this. You know, I, I have the long game with this. I'm farming it and uh, we'll see what happens here. But yeah, this thing is working nicely. Um, let's talk a little bit about bankroll flow. Now, this one here, they are launching a version um, I guess 1.2, right? A second version. Um, I've had people ask me, is it going to be a whole new link, a whole new site? I believe, and again, there's nothing set in stone. That's why I can't give you any hard, you know, hard updates. Um, I'm just getting gathering information just from you know doing my own research and due diligence, watching several different videos, jumping into the telegram. So I'm kind of gathering data myself, but nothing is set in stone just yet. I will give you some updates here in a second of things that I found. But again, none of it is set in stone. I am waiting until it's official, official as far as the updates. And then I can kind of decide what I'm going to go do. Because again, can't really decide what you're going to go do if you um, don't have all the the, uh, the the information, right? It's hard to make an educated decision when you don't have all the data. So, you know, until they do that, I'll kind of decide what I'm going to do at that point. But at this point, as I've mentioned in several videos, I'm not really depositing. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just kind of waiting for for um you know waiting for any hard news or hard announcements okay um that being said the price of banker x is dipping a little bit more as you can see here um but yeah let's talk a little bit about some of these updates again none of this is set in stone guys but these are some things that i've taken notes on of some videos that i've seen um so again take it you know take it take it for what it is okay don't don't hold me to it but this is from the videos that I've seen, 
some of the things that they're going to be implementing implementing with this version 1.2. Again, I'm going to be clear, right? I don't want to get any people messaging me on Telegram. None of this, I believe, is set in stone yet. However, this is what has been talked about. And from the videos that I've seen, this is what BT has mentioned over on his, um, I don't know, on his channel, on his Patreon. I don't, I don't even know. Um, but these are these are some of the some of the things here. There are going to be some sustainability fees, um, which we talked about that already, right? About having some withdrawal fees. So this is not news, right? Um, and again, before I go into this, I, I'm I'm neutral, right? I'm not emotional about this. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till you know uh, the official official hard announcements are made that I can decide what I'm going to go do. However, you know I have I did deposit quite a bit of TRX into this thing. So I am interested in finding out what's happening here. Um, so the sustainability fees, in order to avoid sustainability fees, you must be in good standing. To be in good standing, your rolls and airdrops must outpace your claims. Okay, so in other words, um, you have to have more in, more funds in than you've pulled out. At least that's what I gather from it. Um, again, I'm, I'm processing this data just as, I know just about as much as you probably do. So I'm processing it at the same time you're probably processing it, right? So again, there's there hasn't been any specific clarifications, but that's what I understand, okay? you to, In order to be in good standing, your rolls and airdrops must outpace your claim. So you can't have pulled out more than you put in, I think, right? If you're not in good standing, or a whale with 500,000 banker, not to be confused with Banker X, this is their, this is their other coin. There will be a 10% sustainability fee paid to the reactor, okay? Remember they launched reactor, that's what kind of started this whole thing. Um, what happens when that fee goes into reactor? I don't really know exactly. Um, we'll have to wait and see, um, you know, I want to just say one thing that I forgot to mention. Okay, the 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 on one hand, I want to be keep. I want to keep it a hundred with you, all right? On one hand, this thing has been out for uh, their ecosystem bankroll has been out for almost three years, two and a half years, maybe three years. So they've been around for a while. Okay. On the other hand, a pet peeve of mine is when I get into a platform and then soon thereafter things are starting to change, right? They start to get more complex. Now they you got to do math to figure out what you're going to get. They're giving you all these math formulas. I mean, the more complex it gets, and these changes were implemented after I got in and made a deposit. You know that is something that is annoying, right? Because um, I, if I knew all of these things were in place, I would have never have gotten in. However, I'm already in, so I'm kind of just strapped in, just like everybody else, waiting to see what happens. Now, is it going to be good for the platform? Is it going to be bad for the platform? We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Supposedly, all these changes are for the sustainability and to make it more long, you know, to make it run longer. Again, I I could roll with that. However, you know, all these things should have been mentioned before, right? That way, I, I could have made um, an educated decision and decided if I was going to get in or not. Okay, now I'm kind of just riding this and seeing what happens. The daily return um, is going to fluctuate. It's not going to fluctuate. It's going to be based on, I believe, how much banker you have. Is it banker or banker X? I got to find out. But all in all, it's going to be 0.05% daily up to 1%. Okay. Um, I believe the more you have, the more you have, the less daily you're going to get because they want to quote unquote prevent whales. So people that have less funds in, they're going to get 1%. People that have more, right? And this is just the top tier or the, the these are the bookends of the spectrum, right? There's actually, I think, 20 tiers. Um, people that have more, they're going to get less, right? So I don't want to say they're punishing people or punishing whales or punishing people that have more, but they want to prevent whales, supposedly. And that's why this is going to change. The other thing is they're taking away direct referrals. Will they be? Will they compensate people somehow in exchange for direct referrals? I'm not exactly sure, but I do know based on what I've seen, um, you do need to hold banker now. Um, you know, to unlock the different levels, the 15 uh, level matching. Before it was 
based on how many uh, direct referrals you had. Now it's, you have to have a certain amount of banker to unlock the different levels. Again, banker is not to be confused with banker X. This is their other token. Now they're bringing in their other token into the equation, which wasn't there before. And now you have to hold banker to qualify for the different matching bonuses. So again, none of this is set in stone, I believe. However, these are some of the things that have been bounced around. Do I like these changes? Uh, does it matter? I mean, I'm, <laughs> I mean, whether I like it or not, these are things that are happening, right? Now, obviously, we're going to see. Um, do I put in more deposits? Do I see what's going on? Again, I'm not doing anything. I'm not putting another penny into this thing until I find, you know, until everything is finalized and I see what's going on. Because again, why would I want to put more funds into something that isn't even set in stone and we don't know exactly how it's going to work? Because if I put in, if I keep on putting deposits into this thing and come to find out that it's not what I wanted to get into, once all the announcements are hard and everything is, is official, you know, that, that would have been a stupid move on my part. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. Again, I know some of you guys are dying for announcements and getting some news. This is basically what I found out. Again, want to be want to put that disclaimer in there. It's not official. It's not set in stone. However, it's, it came from, you know, I would say a really good source. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens here. Again, there's a lot of other announcements I didn't really go into. I didn't want to give you all these different details because the truth of the matter is, is I don't even understand a lot of the stuff that I saw, right? Like people are talking about it. There's like math equations now to figure out you need to be there's net deposit value and all this. It's like, I feel like I'm in college again, trying to figure out these, you know, I got to pull out a calculator to figure out what I'm going to get. I don't like complex platforms. I mean, they just, it's just, uh, you know, now again, all this quote unquote complexity is supposed to help sustainability. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's what's going on. We'll see what happens here. Again, I'm 50, 50 with it. I'm neutral. Um, We'll see what happens. Anyway, Axion down 1.8% over yesterday. Again, this is just all profit at this point. We're just staking, as you can see here. We are just staking our Axion. Again, we've already, this is, we're way in profit with this. This has been out for months, even before they launched the staking, we were in profit. Because um, one of the rules that I have, again, it's not a rule that everyone has to have, it's not you know set in stone, but one thing that I've done over the last few years that I've been in this space is I've always tried to withdraw or put back in my wallet what I put in, right? So that it's all house money, all profit that I'm playing with, because if you're just playing with profit, then you know the, the, the higher risk isn't so risky, right? You've essentially made yourself risk-free or at least limited the exposure you have to risk because now you've put in your initial deposit back into your wallet and now you just have profit right um so again we're um you know we do have about a hundred plus million axion liquid we have 117 million axion staked and we're just kind of staking this as you can see here i do have a lot of stakes that have matured already but we've made interest um So that's what's going on with, with Axion. So again, this is just profit. So we're just kind of staking this. Whatever happens here, we'll have to kind of wait and see. But um, that's what's going on with Axion. Wise is down 11% over yesterday. Again, this is all profit as well. Um, I'm just staking. I do have quite a bit of it liquid, um, but I have a bunch of it, most of it staked out. So again, the price for me is not really... I'm not really concerned about it as long as it doesn't go below what I paid for it, which during the pre-sale, the average price was about 15 cents. So as long as it doesn't go below that, if I'm staking it, I'm just getting more wise on my wise. I am good to go. That being said, again, I'm in full profit with this. I've already sold enough wise to recoup the Ethereum that I put in. I believe I put in um, about twenty-four dollars or $25,000 worth of Ethereum at the time. Um, I put in 50 Ethereum. You can go back to my channel. I show all this. I, I put in a 50 Ethereum deposit and I, then I put in another 10 Ethereum 
you know, three Ethereum at a time, something like that. Um, so not counting any referral commissions, I put in 60 Ethereum of my own funds. At the time, the price of Ethereum was around, I don't even remember it, to be honest, but, I, but when I look at my notes, it was around twenty-four dollars or $25,000 worth of Ethereum that I put in. Right now, we're sitting on about 500,000 Ys. So at this price right here, it's at about $253,000 worth of Ys. So we've pulled out what we put in and we're in full profit. Now we're just kind of staking this because I, if this can be a, you know, a long-term passive income down the road, then I'll be the happiest person in the world. So if I can just have, you know, um, the way I set up my stakes, if I could just have that passive residual in income coming in monthly and then quarterly, because I have quarterly stakes, then I have monthly stakes and I could just live off the interest, that would be awesome. Now, will that happen? We're going to see. I mean, that's kind of the, the game plan. Um, but yeah, you know, this is, we're not even a month into this. We're 26 days into this thing launched on New Year's, New Year's Eve. So we're 26 days into this. We have three, a 365 day outlook. Um, I do have some liquid. I have about 70, 75,000 wise liquid you know, just to see what happens if it pumps, you know, I might sell, we'll see what happens. But again, this is all profit at this point. But I'm confident, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident with them. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And again, when you're in full profit, you're, pro you're okay with, you know, the risk that you take, because again, it's just all house money. Um, that being said, is it still a good time to get in? I can't really say that. It's totally up to you. If you think that this is undervalued, and it could potentially go to a dollar, then it would be a good time to get in. If you think that you missed it, it's totally up to you. Um, but, you know, again, we'll see what happens. Um, if you want to stake wise, I'll leave a link down below. You'll get a 10% bonus on your share rate. And uh, again, longer pays better. If you want to stake it longer, you can. There's a couple different stakes you can put in. There's a regular stake. There's an insurance stake, which is live right now. So if you want to do that, one thing I will tell you is if you put in a stake, Make sure that you have a long-term outlook because if you if you uh, end stake, if you emergency end stake, you're going to lose a huge amount, you know, 50%, 60%, 70% of your principal, you're going to lose that as the fee. So do not stake anything that you are not willing to stake for, you know, and see throughout the, the life of that stake, okay? That's what I would say about that. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's jump over to Cubitech. Cubitech, this thing here is, like I said, it's working, it's back up and running. Um, not that it was never not running because withdrawals, affiliate commissions was always running, but they did halt the passive payouts from January 1st to January 15th. As you can see here, the payouts have started again on the 16th. Not going to go all the way down to the 16th, but you can see here 0 0.46, 0 0.65, 0 0.54. 1.08 was yesterday. Today, we're going to get 0.69%. So again, the way this works is you're going to get 250% of your digital license. So with my account, I have 179% more until my digital license expires. Now, again, this percentage that you get, this 250%, the affiliate commissions don't count. They're not included here. Okay? So anything you make on affiliate commissions is separate just on your digital license passively, you'll earn 250% if everything works out, right? So if everything works out, ideal situation, you'll make 150% pure profit. Um, this does have a very lucrative network marketing side. If you wanna check out the comp plan, you can log into the back office. There's some documents you can check out, but it's a binary structure and it does pay out pretty handsomely. So um, I'll leave a link for Cubitech. You do need to have a VPN. Um, if you're in the U.S. or Canada, so make sure you have that VPN set up. Um, but this is definitely working. Another platform that's working that I haven't really talked about, I'm not even going to log into my account here, is Burex. This one here is still working. Okay, This one here, you can earn 1.4% every day for 20 days. On the 20th day, you can withdraw your principal. So, you know, if this is something you want to get into, again, the cool thing about it is, it's crypto in, crypto out. So value of Bitcoin or Ethereum goes up, you're making those gains. 
Um, however, it is definitely on the risky side, okay? Not a super ton of transparency. So, you know, enter at your own risk and, um, you know, do your own research, but it is most definitely working. Withdrawals are instant. Uh, cash effects, I'm not even gonna log into here, but this one here is still running. We've done a withdrawal. We did a withdrawal yesterday. Um, I think there's restrictions on US residents now, so I'm not exactly sure. It's been running for a long time, more than a year, guys. So as far as timing is concerned, you're definitely gonna be getting in on the back end of this um, if you get it now. So I definitely wouldn't suggest that. But for those of you guys that have been in and have gotten in early, early, early on, um, I think you already know it's, it's still working as far as I as far as I know. But you know, like I said, there's definitely restrictions now. So that's what's happening. Uh, this one here, Mind Capital, this one here, I don't believe is working anymore. I mean, you can log into your account. Um, like I logged into my account. I just, I don't think I can withdraw at this point. There's not any passive payouts. So this one seems like it's a done deal. It's probably been done for a while. I just haven't done any updates. And in this video, I wanted to talk about what's working. It's not working. If you got in early with this, then you should have been in profit. Okay, even if you were passive, you should have been in profit with this particular platform. So that being said, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, again, just wanted to give you a quick update, what's working, what's not working, at least for me. Again, it does change. So stay updated, jump into our Telegram. Um, we'll see what happens with these platforms, guys. But again, you got to be in it to win it. No risk, no reward is what I say, right? So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, follow us on Telegram, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon. Again, as far as bankroll is concerned, bankroll flow, we'll see what happens. Lots of different changes. It's definitely, you know, getting more and more and more complex. Is that going to be good? Is that going to be bad? I don't know. Post your comments underneath here if you want. Um, I have no clue. I'm kind of riding the roller coaster just like some of you guys are, okay? But cool thing is you can withdraw, you can claim, you can do all that good stuff. I just don't know what the changes are going to be with this version 1.2 deal that they're going to be coming out with, you know, who knows when, but it's coming. Anyway, that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.